it was my idea of an oasis. People say Los Angeles is a paradise, it's this beautiful, ideal space where the summers are beautiful, the winters are fresh. And I always ask people, if it's a paradise now, can you imagine it then? The people that would run along the Los Angeles Basin or that would find themselves there at some point in time, it would be the Tongva. Tongva territory is the entire LA Basin. Then we have the four Channel Islands, right? Uh, Catalina, San Nicolas, San Clemente, and Santa Barbara. Those are our four islands. If you go back in time, many areas in Los Angeles were very well-rounded. All of the Los Angeles County area, it had plenty of water, which is why we lived there. It's a delicate balance of water to everything. It sustained the people. We understand that life begins in water and that life needs to continue with water. Water in Tongva is pa'ar. And one of my favorite phrases, is, um, I'm a saltwater person. So for me, muma ahiko is breath of the ocean, spirit of the ocean. And for me, that always has resonated. You know, we don't think about it, but it was was a privilege, and they knew that. Maybe in some aspect, realizing that maybe one day it wouldn't always be so. People say it's tough being Indian these days, you know, and I tell them try being a LA Indian. <laughs> you know, we're invisible. Pre-contamination, the Tongva were one of the largest, if not largest, tribe in Southern California. Once they came, the shock was immediate. By the time the Spaniards got here, they were a well-oiled machine. They knew what they were doing. It was your usual they move in, you know, and we have to die story. <laughs> <laughs>